This video is brought to you by Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. I've been trying to pinpoint what exactly made me commit to learning how to play fingerstyle guitar for both solo and rhythm playing. You know, like this Travis picking I'm doing right now, as I think I've been playing without a pick for about 10 years. By looking through old videos, I have sparked a few memories that are potentially the reason I ditched the plectrum and went all in on developing my right hand technique. I went on a songwriting break recently that wasn't as productive as I'd have liked, but I did delve into some old songbooks I'd created. And when I started writing at 15, I was kind of obsessed with tracking exactly how many songs I'd finished because I knew that I had to write hundreds to get even just one that would strike a chord with an audience. Yes, that pun was intended. Now, these songbooks only contain lyrics, there aren't even chords or tunings written down, which is something I definitely do nowadays. And all those years ago, I had a terrible phone and no studio equipment, so I don't have a library of voice notes to refer to not like the quality we have today at our fingertips. So my way of documenting my song ideas has become much easier for future, thanks to developments in tech. Anyway, I digress. I was having to look at old videos I'd made on a tape camcorder that are now private on my YouTube channel because they are super embarrassing. Just to jog my memory and figure out how the old song sounded. And whilst doing so, I found a vlog of a trip I made in March 2011 with one of my best friends, Emma. Now, this wasn't a usual trip for students to take during term time, but in my second year of university, we entered a contest for charity called Jailbreak, where you had to get as far away from Bristol as possible in 36 hours without spending any money and know you couldn't get someone else to pay. You kind of had to hustle a little bit, have the gift of the gab, and that's exactly what we did. Well, anyway, we ended up making it to Perth in Australia and setting a record. Now, what does this have to do with the way I play guitar? Well, this crazy trip inspired a song called A Never Ending Winter, the 36th song I'd ever written. <laughs> and well, on that journey, because we were on a plane for a zillion hours, I listened to a lot of music on my iPod, including Mark Knopfler, Tracy Chapman, John Mayer, Andy McKee, Kaki King, Katie Tunstall, and Joni Mitchell, basically my singer, songwriter, and guitar heroes. Now, I was particularly hooked on the percussive style of Andy McKee and just kept failing to play like him. And what I really wanted to do <laughs> was discover my own style of guitar playing that would differentiate me from my peers. So I just kept on writing songs and wrote the lyrics to A Never Ending Winter on the plane ride back. You can find the lyrics in the description below. Now, what I wanted for the accompanying guitar part and could hear in my head whilst back home and recovering from jet lag was something I couldn't quite sound on the guitar. So it took days of failing and muddling my right hand finger pattern until one day it clicked and I could finish the song, which I'm going to play for you in just a moment. Basically, the lesson I learned was that I need to challenge myself by writing something that will push me out of my comfort zone. And I've discovered incorporating that in a full song is the best way for me to develop my guitar skills because then I'm going to have to play and sing or talk at the same time and perform it live one day. By singing and playing guitar at the same time, I get into a state of flow and don't even really think about my right hand. It hopefully just ends up happening naturally. Like, I'll be honest, I figure out later what the taught term is for what I'm doing on the guitar, i.e. Travis picking. So sometimes it's not about practicing scales over and over, or even studying the harmonic style of 18th century European musicians. Instead, it's about trying to tell a story and provide an accompaniment underneath that's a fitting backdrop so that I can perform that song to you, my audience. So for those asking how I started to play fingerstyle guitar, I hope that helps and gives you a little bit of context. 
And if you're not songwriting just yet, then really have a look into artists that have intricately written out tabs that you can learn to play, like John Mayer's Stop This Train, Fleetwood Mac's Landslide, and Blackbird by The Beatles. Anything that will be difficult enough to keep you interested, but not impossible for you to learn. But for now, here's my song, A Never Ending Winter. A never ending winter rests above this island While on the other side of the world skies are far brighter I'll get away somehow by aeroplane or sea And escape this streaming cold that never wants to leave So I'll take another step towards happiness and let this sunshine rule Cause loneliness is just a word Don't let it take you to I'll make myself journey Across a foreign land Find myself in places I would never have imagined If I stayed in England The gloom would overtake me The rain would drown my soul And no one could save me So I'll take another step Towards happiness And let this sunshine rule Cause loneliness is just a word take you to now I'm on the other side digging my feet in the sand watching the waves crash and admiring my golden suntan I miss the green of England Maybe it will call me back But for now I'm rested And loneliness is no longer My only friend So I'll take another step Towards happiness And let this sunshine rule Cause loneliness is just a word mm. I'll take another step Towards happiness And let this sunshine rule Cause loneliness is just a word Don't let it take you to So that is the story of travelling 18,000 miles in five days, yep, we had to get back for lectures, and how it changed my style of guitar playing. You guys know I've been inspired to keep on educating myself during this time at home, and I've also been consuming creative and productivity classes on Skillshare, who I can thoroughly recommend and who made this video possible. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives and curious people that features thousands of classes in music, productivity, illustration, marketing and entrepreneurship. Most of the classes are under 60 minutes in length and are designed to fit any schedule. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I recently took a class from Michael Kanjanapakorn, who is the CEO and founder of Skillshare called Real Productivity, Create Your Ideal Week. And he really just speaks about how he manages his time being a very successful entrepreneur and how spending your time correlates with the success of yourself and the business you're running. There's still so much I need to learn about managing my schedule effectively and improving my productivity. And this class is literally 23 minutes, so pretty manageable to consume. So don't forget that the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. 
but otherwise, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you very soon. I'll make myself a journey across a foreign land Find myself in places I would never have imagined If I stayed in England, the gloom would overtake me The rain would drown my soul and no one could save me So I'll take another step towards happiness And let this sunshine rule Cause loneliness is just a word Don't let it take you to